All right, here we are with game two of round three. And it, we're going second. I see an American Robin in the tray, so my opponent's going to grab that. And that'll be two games in a row they've gotten that. Uh, no eggs in round one. That'll probably be easy for everyone to qualify for. Kind of a random mix of goals here. And that catcher is a definite keep. Wooligist. It's probably what we're going with. So what do we do with the rest of our game? Well, if my opponent goes Grasslands, Goldeneye should work out, but I need another cavity nest to go along with it. <laughs> Got a pair of golden eyes. Gray Heron is my wetland bird. I think uh, I think I'm gonna have to keep my opponent will uh, draw the Robin here and barring anything else a better wetland option popping up. Probably gonna grab the swallow. The question is, do I keep the golden eye as well? Keep the wheat for the golden eye. Bird feeder doesn't have any fish. I think I need to keep the cherry to get the tree swallow down, and we'll worry about the golden eye a little later, especially since the round goal is no eggs. So I think we're going to have to go with that. Not great, but I guess not terrible. So our opponent did grab the robin. And Black Woodpecker flips up. You know what? I think I'm going to go for it. I think this is a Black Woodpecker game, and it is a cavity nest. And we need a lot of food acceleration to get us out of the gate here. I don't know about that swallow. Maybe we'll pick it up here after the woodpecker. But I think right now this woodpecker is going to be more important than the tree swallow. I don't anticipate them grabbing it. But they could. But I kind of suspect that they won't. Oh, they did. Okay. Well... There goes that option, I guess. So I'm going to grab the worm here. Uh, let's... Do that. And then we'll work. We'll get the woodpecker down. We'll gain food. Get the golden eye down. Flycatcher, good forest bird. So that, they took food and that actually puts us in a position to reroll the bird feeder and hopefully grab a bunch of worms here. So let's grab, I already have a wheat. Two worms there. Looks like we got our fish in the bird feeder as well. They flipped it again. So they gained more food. I think I'm going to force down this golden eye here. So there's the robin. I think I'm going to grab this magpie be good counterplay for any emergent grassland engine. So there's the tree swallow. So let's gain a wheat. Grab the worm. And then I'll throw down this magpie. 
and that'll give us three birds with no eggs to tie the round goal. We drew cards. And they've got no egg activations, of course. Tie. Something good in the tray, yes. Common yellow throat. We needed that big time. Free egg, I'll gladly take it. And lay their eggs, no talk. So they're going to go for a second bird here, I think. Or they're just gearing up to draw an extra card. So we can grab the reroll on the bird feeder here. I think I'll take the rat just in case we see a raven. Grab those two worms. Now we have our egg. We don't have to take the lay egg action. I can just drop this yellow throw and start digging. Which is a great position to be in. Our card draw will be superior to theirs. Two wheat on deck. Wonder if they're eyeing that dove. Or the half inch, I guess. Coots, so they're building out a wetlands tucking engineer. So it looks like we're both gearing up to start digging. I need to get a ground nest though. They drew blind off the top of the deck for all their draws. That's good. That's not good. So I wonder, do I want the European Turtle Dove or the Hawfinch? Inch? Well, I don't want the half inch, and I got my rat, just like I said before. I grabbed the rat in case you see the raven. So I guess I know what we're doing now. Let's, uh... I think we're going to get rid of this more in. I wonder, though. I don't know. The ruddy duck is probably overkill for me at this point. Moorhen's probably not going down, but I mean, it is a six egg star nest, so maybe we might need that in the future. Get you more cards. I've got three turns left. They've got one grassland activation, so we're picking up one point from the magpie. Bird feeder is not friendly to the woodpecker. I can discard a card. I have no eggs. I could get the fish in the wheat for the moorhen. And then play it. I don't have any eggs though. Need to gain food, lay eggs, and play the Moorhan. I don't have enough turns to actually get eggs onto it. But they don't have a ground nest either. So I think at this point, maybe I just draw cards again here. And if they lay eggs, I'll pick up an egg from the golden eye. I think I will just draw cards here. Metal Lark. I don't have the food to play it and then lay eggs. Good bomb. Chaffinch can convert a bunch of cards into points late game. 
do I want this turtle dove? Can go in the wetlands. I think I will take it. I have to discard. I think at this point the moorhand is. The window on the moorhand is closed. Shift <laughs> yeah. So I wonder. They don't have any food. I wonder if they grab it and tried to run that. I don't know if I mind that terribly much. They don't have a huge foundation for it, or a strong foundation for it. It is a ground nest. They're probably going to grab it and play it. They can draw it. They have no food. They would need to draw it, gain food. They have an egg. So they can draw it, gain the food. So they're gaining food right now. They're not going for chiff chaff. So I am going to grab food here. worms. Then I'm going to drop this raven. Then I can go metal lark. They don't have any ground nests. So I can really abuse the metal lark. But I don't have any ground nests either. Mallard. So that's their ground nest. They have to lay eggs here in order to get on the board for the wrong goal, so they're not going to grab the chiff chaff. Or they could just ignore the wrong goal and go for the chiff chaff. I need to get this raven down, but I don't have any eggs, of course. So they're going to have to lay eggs here. And that will give me an egg off the golden eye. And then I can drop my raven next round. So if I just draw cards here, I will continue to fill up my hand for the chaff inch later. And I could deny this chiff chaff. It is a welling bird. Let's see what comes up. Garbage. Garbage. That's good. I don't need chiff chaff because I have the chaff inch. So let's just take off the deck. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Tree creeper is good nest space. Let's get rid of the bittern. They're thinking. I wonder if they uh, they did go for it. Oh, I wasn't thinking. That was a mistake. They could cycle off the robin. I wasn't seeing that. Well, <laughs> my bad. Kill deer in the tray. I can't grab it. I screwed that up. I should have grabbed that. The only reason I left that chip chaps is because I didn't think they could grab it. But, uh, they could. So, let's find this raven. No, we're not doing that. So they 
Did you birds? Well, if I lose, it's because of that mistake. So we're just going to have to see if we can pull this out. Junko is going to compete with the Chaffinch for cards. So they're just going to spam that chiff chaff for the rest of the game. So let's throw down our chaff inch. Now my magpie and my golden eye are out of the equation. There's a counterplay on my opponent. Oh well, lesson learned I guess. Let's draw the card. So this round goal, they are out of turns. They've got four birds. We could tie them with Willet. All right, I think I'm just going to play the Blue Wing Warbler into the grasslands here. Nothing in the tray that I need. Do they have food? They do. I wonder if they try to force down that Phoebe. It really wouldn't make a lot of sense for them to do that. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight. We need our ninth bird for Ulogist. There we go. We fixed it. Thank goodness. So, I can tuck here, need the food, play the warbler. I could draw three cards, those three cards become three points. Could get a Benelli. Four, five, six, seven. need this Cerulean Warbler to come through for me here. Can't whiff this bonus card. <laughs> I mean, it's not a total whiff, but two points. We needed more than that. Alright, so if I... This would just be a four-point activation. I've got three activations left. Four eggs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need two activations in order to get eggs on all of my birds for Ulogist. 
since my draw card's here, I can actually... So I'll have two turns left, that'll be eight eggs. If I discard one egg, I can grab an extra card, that'll be three, and I'll net four cards. I can tuck those under the chaff inch. Maybe I find the Benelli's and drop that for a big point play at the end here. Pick up points with two more points from Rodentologist. So I think that's what I will do. Not Benelli's, not Benelli's, not Benelli's. Not Benelli's, and not Benelli's. So we'll get rid of the red start. And to top it all off, they got the Eastern Imperial. But, I mean, that's what happens when you get one of these wetland engines that's just drawing so many cards. I mean, it was bound to happen. So that was scoring four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, minus one is eight, so they picked up an extra two points there. We're going to win this wrong goal, which we need desperately. Make sure we got an egg on every bird. Skip. And let's see if I choked and threw the game. They've got their last activation left here. Well, they laid eggs to get on the board for the wrong goal. So I don't know if I mind that. Oh well, no use thinking about it. And it they, they does give me a point off my magpie, so that's pretty great. I don't feel bad about that one bit. Alright. Thanks for watching the Choke Fest. If you thought that was hilarious, hit the like button. <laughs> So it's just a matter of if they can come back with their tux. And it looks like they're probably going to do it. Yep. Choked that one. Alright, well, on to game three. My fate rests in that final game. Hopefully I don't choke. 